Makers, this is another card I'm making for the Whimsy Stamps Halloweeners design team. And today's card is going to be a mini slimline trifold. And I'm going to use this new to me uh, die. So this has been a line for a while, but it's brand new to me. So this is called the mini slim trifold die set. And you get a die and it's a big one. See this? So it cuts out the whole card base from an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And then uh, if you want, you can put, you know, your pattern paper here that would, you know, go over the piece, that kind of thing. And it also comes with these circular dies that cut out kind of patterns and things like that that you could use as well. I'm not going to be using those, but I am going to be using the card base. To put in the windows, I'm going to be using the Monster Days stamp set and outline dies that match the Monster Days outline dies. So this year, Whimsy Stamps came out with a lot of fun monster stamps and matching uh, outline dies. So many fun ones. So I picked Monster Days for this one because there are some several small monsters that will fit in the circles or the windows of these. So these monsters are for all year long. Uh, they are not necessarily for Halloween, but I think monsters go so perfectly with Halloween. So you're gonna see a lot of these monsters that are just from the everyday line. And then I'm gonna be using some paper for the flaps and also the, the main back. And the paper I will be using is from the Haunted Paper Pack. And so this paper pack is actually double-sided. So there will be a scene on one side and then oftentimes there's a pattern or something like that on the back side. So you can see like this one and then it has a pattern on the back side. And here you have a graveyard and then a pattern on the back side. So you get the idea, right? I have chosen this set. And I'm going to, my plan is to use uh, this for both, um, I'm going to cut this for the center, and then I'm thinking of um, using the same one for the flaps, but I also might use this. So we'll see, you know, sometimes I change my mind, but um, that's the paper I have chosen for my mini slimline trifold. I'm excited to use this. Uh, I haven't even practiced yet so I'm looking forward to cutting with it. So I want to invite you to come along and let's get making. I took the trifold die and I ran it through my die cutting machine with a piece of black heavy stock and look cut perfectly and then I ran the haunted paper through the die cut as well. So I cut the large circles and the small circles sides and then with the second piece of paper, I put it in the middle of the die cut and I cut that center section out so that the moon and the bats were centered on it. And now I'm just trimming off the excess so that it'll fit right in the middle of that card base. So I try it out and there we go. It fits perfectly. And then if I want, I can put that green spider web, which is the back side of that paper, or I can use the side with the, the moon as well if I want. And later on, you'll see that I do that. Then I went ahead and chose some of the Monster Days stamps that I thought I was going to use, inked those up. I use Distress Black Soot Archival Ink when I'm stamping because I color everything with either Distress Ink or in this case, as you can see, I use Distress Watercolor Pencils and those are water-based, so the Distress Archival Ink works fine. If you're going to use uh, something like an alcohol ink marker uh, like Copic, you would want to use an ink that can withstand that. Now I use my palette and my Distress Watercolor Pencils. The palette's made from the shavings of the pencils. I just went through and quickly colored the cupcake. I colored some monsters. I have a couple of other stamps on there that I ended up not using. And uh, once I got them colored up, it was easy enough to just run them through my die cut machine with the outline dies and then I was ready to start assembling the card. 
To begin assembling, I put the front piece on the side with the bigger circles, and I decided to flip the paper over and use the one with the moon for the front of the card. Then for the first inside flap, I went ahead and used the green. I thought that made kind of a nice mat on the inside of the larger circles. And then as you saw earlier, I had planned on putting that moon piece in the middle. Now I went ahead and cut out some black pieces of cardstock for the backs of the monsters. I didn't get a piece cut out for the back of the sentiment. So uh, it's going to be white. That's my cat Leota. She's joining in today. And so now you can see that once I put the monsters on, I went ahead and grabbed the piece of black cardstock that I cut out with the same outline die. And I just lined it up on the back side and attached it to the part that was sticking through so that when you open it, the back of the monsters isn't just this bright white against the black card base. They kind of melt into the, the background. I didn't need to back this little yellow monster because he's just going on the paper on the inside. And then I have three balloons also from the monster days. And then the last thing I did before stamping the sentiment was to add that cute little cupcake. I just finished it up. So here's the final card. It begins with let's get spooky. And then as you open it up, you have your how old. And then as you open again, birthday schmirth days. And our little monster with the balloons and the cupcake. So a couple of things that uh, I want to make be sure that I got in there to tell you. The let's get spooky and I probably already went over this when I was doing this and you were watching me but the let's get spooky is from Home Sweet Haunted stamp set. It has uh, five different sentiments and then the haunted house scene at the bottom. Then when you open it the Your Howled and Monster are both from the Monster Days that I used. And then when you open it up, the Birthday Schmirth Days is also from the Monster Days. So it's right there. And I just cut it apart. It comes together like that. And I cut it apart so that I could stamp it and it would fit on the moon. I did back each of them with some black cardstock. I didn't black back this with black cardstock because I just freehand fussy cut it and I didn't think about backing these until after I'd already fussy cut this. So that's just the way it is. Uh, this uh, one I used, let's see, the cupcake and the heart balloon, both from the monster days. And then in the balloons, I used this tiny little spider from Halloween postage. So he's just a tiny little thing and he fit perfectly into those little heart balloons to make them a little bit Halloween inspired balloons instead of, uh, you know, heart Valentine type things. And then I colored the cupcake in Halloween colors as well. So that way that let's get spooky and so you can't really see it. It's peeking out a little bit right here, but really your eye is focused on the monsters and the, the big sentiment here and even maybe the little bat in the background. So you're kind of focused on the let's get spooky. Then when you open it up, the scary part is you're how old? And we have a little monster kind of peeking through asking about that. And we still have some bats up here for the spookiness and then the birthday schmirth days. So Ah, it's not so scary after all. And these monsters aren't scary anyway. So I think that it ended up being a very cute card. And I had a great time using the die that cut this. I, you know, I want to do some more of these because it really actually was very, um, very easy to do once I uh, got the hang of it. I want to thank you so much for following along with me as I made my first mini trifold card. And as always, I want to encourage you, if you have any questions, something I didn't cover, go ahead and ask in the comments for this video. I'll be glad to get back to them as soon as I can. If you want any of the products I used to make this card, I have a list of the products in the description for this video as well. You can just click those links. And with that, I want to wish you a very creative day.